Welcome to this tutorial for articulated dump trucks daily checks. For this example, we're using a CAT 730 Next Gen articulated truck. It is always reminded to the operators that they should be referring to the operator's manual for their daily checks on their specific machines. First of all, we're going to start by activating the machine and turning the isolator on. Once the isolator is turned on, access the cab using the steps and handrails, maintaining three points of contact. Enter the cab and raise the bonnet. Always ensure that the bonnet is fully raised before accessing the engine. Once the bonnet is raised, close the door fold in the mirrors and ensure firm footing to access the engine. Checking the transmission oil here, take the dipstick out, wipe it with a piece of cloth, reinsert the dipstick. As you take the dipstick out again, check that the transmission oil level is at the correct level for cold start. Once the engine has reached operating temperature, it is important that the transmission oil is rechecked to ensure correct levels. Next check at this position is the engine oil. Dipstick out, wiped, replace the dipstick, pull it out again and make sure the engine oil is within the recommended levels. Underneath this access panel is the drop box oil. Undo the dipstick, take it out and wipe it with your rag. Replace the dipstick, take out to ensure the correct levels. Always ensure that you carry out a visual inspection of the engine. Always look for any loose components, any cracks or any defects. Once the engine checks have been done, walk along, fold the mirror out, check the coolant level in the sight gauge. Operators are reminded never to open the expansion tank cap when the engine is hot. When climbing down from the machine, use three points of contact ensuring a firm footing. Whilst at ground level, check the hydraulic oil on the sight gauge, ensuring that the fluid is between the maximum and minimum marks. During a walk round inspection, always check underneath the vehicle to ensure there are no leaks or any obstructions in and around the area. If your machine is fitted with a forward facing camera, always ensure the lens is cleaned and in good condition. Always ensure that any filler caps are secure with no leaks. The self-greasing system on this particular machine is topped up. Check for your mirrors, your security, your windows, your steps, your handrails. Checking hydraulic connections, hydraulic rams. Looking underneath for any potential obstructions or puddles of oil. Checking the A-frame on the back and any drive shafts ensuring their security and condition. Checking the condition of the tyres, ensuring there are no deep cuts, no potential punctures. Checking any final drives for any leaks and checking the security of the wheel nuts. Moving to the rear of the machine, the important things to check are lights and camera systems, ensuring no obstructions in between the wheels and the chassis and making sure that all pivot points and suspension components are in good condition and secure. During your walk round, check the condition of the skip, ensuring that any self-greasing systems are in good condition and secure, ensuring that there are no leaks or cracks from the hydraulic rams. Once the daily checks have been completed, enter the cab again using three points of contact, Start the engine to let the machine warm up and lower the bonnet. It's important to let the engine warm up to stop any excess wear and tear to the machine. Operators should always adjust the seat according to their own personal needs to ensure a good posture and comfort throughout their working day. Always ensure that all lights are working, including amber beacon, and green seatbelt beacon. 
Once the machine is warmed up, ensure that no personnel are present within the area. Carry out a function check. Move the machine backwards, checking your mirrors and cameras all the time. Moving the steering left and right and touching the brakes. And in a forward motion, do the same. Nice and steady, just pull forward and touch the brake pedal. Function check, always ensure the skip raises, ensuring there are no overhead obstructions within the area. Once the skip is fully raised, lower the body back down. Once the daily checks are complete, it's now important to fill in the daily check sheet. 